In the kitchen now with Michelle from Lamers Dairy. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Nice to see you. Happy spring. I was going to say the same <laughs> thing, and I'm looking at your what we're cooking today, and it just makes me feel like spring. Pasta Primavera, which Primavera, I guess, means spring. spring. I, I didn't know right. that. That's right. Uh, but it's using those great spring vegetables that we're starting to see at the grocery store, and they've got wonderful colors. Um, pasta dish with zucchini and asparagus and yellow pepper and yellow summer squash and carrots, and yeah, it's just really a nice dish. So starting with a cream sauce, though, with our wonderful Lamers uh, heavy cream. So let's get started on right. that. We're yeah. going to switch it up a little bit than the recipe, but we're going to start with a, um, a tablespoon of butter okay. in the pan. Okay. I think so. So many people are intimidated uh, about making their own like cream. This happens to be like an Alfredo sauce. Um, they buy it in a jar, and boy, it's not oh, near as no. good. And it's so easy, and it's so fast. Okay. So, so there's really butter no reason melted. to do that. Yeah. Then we're going to add a little bit of garlic, and okay. we don't want it to turn color. We just want to have it um, soften a little bit. Okay, all right. So I'll do that off the heat, yeah. all right. And then we'll add some chicken stock. We have okay. just a half a cup. Okay. And we'll want to try to reduce that a little bit down. So at home, let that cook for maybe a minute or so, just to Yeah, just let it to reduce. reduce down a little bit. Okay. And then um, we'll get ready with our cream and our delicious Lamer's Dairy heavy cream and half and half. And watch when I pour this, how thick this is um, as opposed to other heavy creams and you'll just see the difference. So um, basically we're going to do one and a half cups of cream so hold that whole one and then half of this one. Okay. You see and how thick that is? And you're so good at just doing it without measuring. I think that's well, I so try. awesome. <laughs> you just have that trained eye. All right. So there you go. And then uh, about a half a cup of half and half. Okay. And we'll let that cook a little bit. Well, we get to the vegetables. Is that right? Yeah. Well, we're going to add our Parmesan. Okay, right so away, right at the, the right beginning. Right away, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and this is freshly grated, the good stuff. Oh, actually, we'll add a little bit of garlic. Let's do that. You too. bet. A little bit of fresh garlic. We'll just crush it right on the mm. spot here. And just get that off. There we go. Yum, yum. All right, so in goes our Parmesan. That's right. And we'll just let that... Yeah, then we'll just stir that up and okay. let it um, hang out for a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Okay, so we'll switch. That's Let's drop right. our pasta. So okay. we're using a fresh pasta, and that's a great tip if you really need to get dinner on the table in a real hurry. This stuff, quick, uh, like two minutes, a couple minutes. I mean, yeah, three minutes or so, and it has a great texture too. So, we yeah. put so a we're using bit of linguine or a little fettuccine. Bit of salt in there. Okay. Yeah. All right, now for our vegetables. Yeah, we're going to get started. It's quite easy. We're going to start with a little bit of olive oil in okay. our pan, maybe about two tablespoons. Okay. All righty. And then we have a little bit of garlic. Okay. We put that maybe in something else. That's all right. But I we'll need go some more garlic. And nope. We got lots of garlic. So you can go ahead and start adding some of the other ingredients. Sure. We're going to add the, the carrots. Have you seen this? This is great. This is um, garlic now that comes already out of the clove. That's really nice. So we'll use your, we use your garlic press again. Oh, sure. A couple of cloves. Is that what normally goes in there? Yeah, two, three or so would be great. Oh, okay. wow! Look at that. It's right ready to go. Yep. Get them in there. At the so we just took some carrot, peeled it, and then sliced it very thin. Right on the diagonal, and we just want the whole thing about this dish is that you want it to be the vegetables, even to be really al dente. So you're just going to cook them lightly. And so we start with the asparagus and the carrots, and of right, course the carrots take a little longer, right? Exactly, that's exactly why. And the asparagus, as you said, is so beautiful right mm -hmm. now. And then we can throw the, the yellow peppers, and you see how colorful it is? And I love that. Spring-like. If it's not spring outside, we'll bring the spring inside. I agree, <laughs> totally agree. And our pasta is doing really nice over here. I don't want to overcook that, so we're almost there, and our yeah. sauce is really starting to thicken yeah, a little bit. Yeah, starting to thicken up, which is good. So while we're doing this, um, we can probably add our zucchini and our summer squash. Um, tell everybody about Lamers and what makes it so special. Well, we're, we're a 100-year-old dairy. Um, we turned 100. Um, we started in 1913. It's still run by the Lamers family. In fact, there are eight family members still actively involved in the business every day. And Mark Lamers is our president and his brothers, Joe, Tom, and Tim, are there and they're in the plant as well as um, in the office. So they wear many hats, including hairnets. And um, it's just a, a great place. All the milk comes from local family farms um, surrounding the dairy, small ones. So it's um, supporting dairy, local farmers and truly local farmers. And now, people 
can actually stop in and kind of watch what's going on, get an ice cream cone, That's all sorts right. of neat stuff. That's right. We have an observation window. It's 30 feet long. And the milk comes in the morning, and it's actually processed right away within hours. And you can actually buy milk at our dairy store that came from the farm that morning. So, and we have our milk in glass bottles, which a lot of people like. You we, can find it right at the grocery store, too, if you can't get there. All the grocery stores, there's a number of different ways to get it. Um, but if you're in the area, it's kind of fun, as you said, to come and watch your milk being bottled, um, you know, and then pick it up right there as well. But, yeah, we're available in all the major grocery stores. And could you get some salt and pepper of it goes in yeah. here, too. Mm -hmm. uh, now, my other question to you is, um, now, you won a big award recently for your milk, and you, I know you're all real excited about that. That's right. We won, won first place um, for the white milk category at the World Dairy Expo in Madison, and it's quite exciting because there were over 800 entries. You're doing all the work here. Oh, Amy. that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. And so, um, so we were thrilled that Lamer's Dairy, a small family dairy, um, won the award. Well, it's very exciting. And, and we already knew how good their milk was, but to get that recognition is pretty darn cool. Yeah, so our sauce is finishing yeah, up here. Our, actually, our cheese got a little cooked there on the bottom. And you know what? That's You can just pull that right out, and the sauce sure. is still going to have some great flavor. Sure. And that's just because our heat was a little bit, our burners are a little bit hard. So then that's we right. finish it with a little bit of butter. That's right. And when the sauce, it, sauce is a little thickened, it's kind of a French secret. It's to... to uh, Finish the sauce with just a little bit of butter. And does the pasta go right in here? Actually, you can put it in here. We'll okay. put everything in here together. Look at how quick this is. And you would pay big bucks for a dish like this out of a restaurant. Yeah, and it has a delicious light garlic taste to Ooh, it. Ooh, a little Parmesan My cheese. My family loves it. This yeah, looks you can just fantastic. It. Wow. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much for sharing. Well, thank you. And we love our, our Lamer's milk. And if you haven't thank tried you. it and their heavy cream, um, please do. And you can get the recipe for this pasta primavera right on our website. So um, make it, and it'll be like spring, kind of, sort of. That's right. Thank you. You bet. Coming up, we're going to talk about a great vacation. If you are craving spring and it's just not coming, we're going to talk about uh, Mexico and some of the cool places that you can visit. And also later, we're going to make that lemon poppy seed cake. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.